and we got a good one this time. Oh, get away from that bridge. Nope, I think he hung me up. video either down below or may put a card up here but either way catching sheep's heads really fun and when they're on fire they're easy to catch so check out some of these techniques and uh good luck well it started off slow sheep's head fishing and uh what I ended up having to do because we don't have as much current today as I had to scale down my gear. I went from a three quarter ounce down to a quarter ounce. And uh, this is actually the second one I've landed, but I've missed like three. And I'm pretty sure they're all about the same size. Little, uh, little bitty of things. Definitely not keepers, but definitely fun to catch uh, one of my favorite fish to catch this time of year wait for it to cool off just a little bit more and uh, these things will be a lot bigger and uh, a lot more aggressive so thank you buddy down to a really small did away with the glass bead and I've got about a I don't know 12 13 inch fluorocarbon leader and a number six mosquito hook using uh, fiddler crabs and these fiddler crabs the way I hook them I just go in here to the side of their shell about where just in front of their legs from the bottom side and come out through the top You just barely got them hooked, but that's all it takes. These uh, these sheep that are they can be bait thieves. I mean, by the time you feel it, your your bait's gone. So I use a really light setup, uh, just really sensitive. Almost uh, I got this outfit mainly for sheep head fishing. H2O Express. This, uh, let's see what this thing is. Seven foot, three inches, and uh, it's good for eight to a quarter ounce. So it's really light setup, but it's great for this sheep's head fishing. Anyway, let's get back to catching them. One of the keys to sheep's head fishing is structure, because uh, what they're actually eating is the barnacles off these uh, steel beams and wooden pylons and the closer you can get to it the better off you'll be without getting hung up and the fiddler crabs I guess represent a barnacle coming off of it that's why chumming so effective uh, today would have been a good day to <clears throat> missed him missed him I mean just like that I mean they're quick these 
big, big ones, got big claws. I know it seems kind of heartless, but I, I tear the claws off. Uh, most of the time, these crabs, they'll detach themselves from a claw to keep from getting eaten, but... And they'll pinch you, but, I mean, it doesn't hurt. Not bad, anyway. I'm finna tell y'all something else, but I forgot what it was, so we're just gonna sit here until I remember what it is. Got a good one this time. This one might be a keeper. Yes, sir, gotta get him away from those pylons. Whoa! Oh, yeah, this is gonna be a keeper here. It's a nice one. right into those pilots and usually when you find one you'll find several and that's what just happened here I'm going to Thing you don't want to do, you'll never want to stick your finger in the mouth. I believe he's a keeper, so we're gonna uh, put him in the meat bag. I say I believe he's a keeper, I know he's a keeper. Uh, do that again. I thought I was going to lose him because he was uh, he was definitely headed right back towards that steel beam and that steel beam will cut you off like a razor down there. A lot of barnacles on it and uh, So subtle, it's just unbelievable. You don't even really feel it. I mean, it's just—it's crazy. We can get them away from that structure. Tell you what, on this light rig, it is fun. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's definitely a good one. Yes, sir. We're gonna uh, we're gonna have dinner tonight. Sheep's head. Just when handling these things, just remember they got some super sharp fins. And uh, That's what we're after. Still not a monster, but capable. Oh, he swallowed it. 
doesn't swallow it. So, got a little undersize. I'm about to cut the line on this one. Those little mosquito hooks will rust out in a few days. It'd do more damage trying to remove the hook than it would just to cut the line. So, gosh, they're so much fun to catch. Uh, but yeah, when you're, when you're hunting for these things, find structure uh, and you'll find sheep's head. Let's get rigged up and do it again. See all the hook that I'm using? Uh, everybody uses something a little bit different. Owner mosquito hooks. This is a, a size two. Uh, and you would think such a small hook wouldn't be uh, wouldn't work. I'll just give you an idea how small that hook is. It's a little video tiny thing. That's how I was taught to sheep's head fish, and by God, it's productive. But when you're out here definitely have to adjust your equipment to the conditions today we don't have as much current so like I said earlier I was able to uh, downsize my my weight because they can be really finicky fish my knot that I used to tie these on with I just use a uni knot uh, using 15 pound four carbon I just use five loop on the uh, uni knot doing braid I do 10 and it's one of the strongest knots that I use for saltwater fishing one of the keys to being successful uh, sheep set fishing is being able to take that subtle bite the lighter your, your gear the, it's a little bit harder to, uh, to tell when they bite so any change in that in that line just give it a little pull, see if it's there. If not, just let it drift back down. You don't have to set the hook, just start reeling. Uh, you'll feel, hmm, I think I just missed him. Just missed him. Good Lord. Nope, let's bump something on the bottom. But you gotta fish really close to this structure. And uh, you're going they're gonna cut you off from time to time, but that's just part of it. Good thing about being in a kayak, I can uh, push away from the structure, but they're gonna head right for it. Especially the big ones. Anyway, that's my tip of the day is just any any change in that line. I'm always holding my rod, I can feel when I can feel when the slightest little change, even with that light. around egg sinker on there. And usually I'll start off, I'll let my weight hit the bottom, I'll come up a couple of cranks, I'll try it there, then I'll come up maybe another foot or two. See if that helps. Uh, Cause they can feed just about anywhere along this water column. Now I'm fishing fairly shallow water, but if I had to guess, maybe eight, 10 feet deep. So, I'm probably fishing maybe 16, 18 inches off the bottom. Sometimes they'll hit right on the bottom. Now as much as I like to eat sheep's head, they are a pain. Mm -hmm. cleaned up and uh, I'll show you one of the techniques to cleaning them. It may not be the best way or the fastest way but it's effective because they got some thick bones and thick scales. 
there is a trick to it. Been a minute. Just finna give up. It's been about an hour since I caught the last one. That boat came in and if you ever been into brim fishing, it's like brim fishing on steroids times ten. what it's all about. This makes my day. This makes about the seventh one I've landed and I've missed about five. So I'm not complaining. I knew he was in there because he hit uh, He hit on my last drop. Took my uh, took my crab. I felt him hit, but like I said, they're masters at stealing your bait. He definitely hit the keeper, but he hit as soon as it went down. I'm gonna get the net for him. Well, maybe just to keep him. I'm telling you, those fins are razor sharp. Just make sure you got a good grip on them because they get to flopping around. Those fins will get you. Just a baby. All I'm doing is just dropping it to the bottom and reeling it up. Now that last one, he hit as I was... Uh, Lifting it off the bottom. It wasn't there 30 seconds. And you just when you lift up, you'll just feel that heaviness. And they're not gonna react when you start reeling. It's it feels like you hung up almost. Except for that one. Those little ones, they are uh, pretty aggressive. Let's see if I can get one with the camera rolling. Got a good one this time. Oh, get away from that bridge. Nope, oh, I think he hung me up. Oh, there he goes. He got loose. Ooh. Uh, got around that bridge pound for a minute now. Don't have lost him. I thought he was a lot bigger than that. But he's a keeper. That hook got him in the corner of the mouth, but it is in there tight. Another one for the dinner table. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, it's been really fun. This can make the third one for me today. I'm gonna probably stay and maybe catch a few more, but I'm only gonna keep three because it's just me that's gonna eat them, and I hate cleaning. But guys, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It means a lot to me. It helps out the channel, and uh, you know, it just motivates me to get out here and, and do more of this. You know try to help y'all catch more fish you know I try to get, let y'all in on the best secrets I can without giving up too much of locations 
But as far as techniques, the techniques work whether you're here in Alabama, you know, Florida, wherever along the Gulf Coast. But yep, these convicts is what some people call them. They're fun, super fun to catch, and uh, absolutely delicious to eat. So let's get him in the bag, and uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the water.